Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. So this isn't going to be your typical just like all day cleaning video. Um, you guys were really liking the mom style and I haven't put one of these up on a Sunday yet so I thought we'd go ahead and do it. I wasn't even planning on filming today but Chase is outside putting lights up so I just thought this would be a perfect day um, just to kind of show you mommy cleaning motivation. I've got cleaning to do. We'll be cooking later. Chase is putting up Christmas lights. I could start putting Christmas in my music over here. So I'm just super excited. Um, Savannah did decide to go ahead and decorate her room today. Um, she is my child. <laughs> I wonder sometimes, but she woke up, Chase was getting the lights down for the outside and she was like, can I please do my room? And I'm like, we're not doing mine yet, but we can totally do your room. So I'm going to take you in there to show you what it's looking like. Okay, and here is my garage. <laughs> so Chase went ahead and pulled down all of our Christmas stuff. Um, so I have it to kind of be going through. I did get rid of more than I thought last year. I do have a lot of trees. Um, a lot of this is my tree stuff. So all of this I think is going to be going up next week. So you guys will be seeing that video very, very, very soon. But I was going to take you out here to show you I think he's starting on this side the Christmas lights are going up aren't they they are it's so windy that the wind Ooh. is blowing this ladder over look at all those birds Okay, so I know some of you guys are gonna stress that the only reason we're putting them up now is because it's like beautiful I want 65 today is it 65 degrees yes. today so I guess it's a little windy, but he's gonna be careful. But other than that, it's just smarter to get them up and we won't turn them on until December 1st, but we don't wanna put them up when it's like cold and icy or snowing. So it's a beautiful day, it's a weekend, Chase is home. So we're gonna go ahead and put those up. And then like I said, I've got some cleaning and laundry and all sorts of cleaning motivation. So if you're here because you need it and it's Sunday, I promise you I'm gonna give it to you just here in a few minutes. <laughs> start alone and I forgot I already started one this morning so I'm actually gonna pull this stuff out of the dryer put this in the dryer and then start a load some water fell in there but I'm hoping not too much so oops Okay, all the towels I just folded are George's and I like to keep them throughout the house um, just so if he gets muddy or dirty I have them laying throughout or after a bath so I like to keep one in his basket and then I like to keep one over here since it's been raining by the back door just so I can wipe his paws when he comes in okay the living room isn't a disaster but it's just not nice and shiny and fluffy so I'm gonna go ahead and work on fluffing this up and then after that I've been needing I haven't done it in forever I haven't like vacuumed these chairs or my upholstered chairs in there so I'm probably gonna vacuum all of those and the sectional so that's my next little speed clean area While 
I was cleaning up this area, I had given the boys a new treat before we left for church. That's where we've been. That's why I'm dressed up, if you guys notice. <laughs> um, and it kind of had a color to it. It's kind of red, and it's all on my sofa. He must have been up here eating. I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm going to go ahead and clean it. You guys always ask me what I use. I'm just like a hot water and soap girl. It always gets it off, but let me show you what it looks like. So if you can see here on camera, they, there's a lot of spots all throughout my sofa. It was also on the blanket that was right here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in the washer next. But I do wanna get that up while it's still fresh. Okay, so I got all that wiped up. Well, hello, <laughs> he's jumping up here. Um, since I have this soapy hot water made and my dirty rag, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure there's nothing on the chairs before I vacuum them and the rug. I'm one of those, while I have it out, I might as well just get it clean. So now I'm gonna work on this section. Open eye. sidekicks right here <laughs> helping me work aren't you two boys George do you like that towel is it nice and soft you can tell his paws are muddy so he will getting be getting a bath before bed but back to cleaning <laughs> so this rug is pretty much hopeless at this point it's been dirty a while I need to rent a shampooer but I'm not gonna replace it right now because of something Quick little tip over here though, if it sounds like I have no breath, it's because I don't. <laughs> um, I've been cutting a lot, like a lot of stuff out of this. It'll get um, little snags from him, kind of like this one right here. And all you have to do is clip it and it looks brand new. So I had tons of these all over it and I just snipped it and it looks great. I did that with my sectional too. So if you ever get those like little bitty snags, just cut them before they get worse. And it seems to really, really help. Just looking out the window with your dirty paws on my sectional that I just cleaned. Oh, George. <laughs>
got all that done. Now I'm gonna grab just one of my e-cloths. Which one, which one? I really like this one. I think it's like the bathroom cleaner one. Let me see. Yeah, bathroom cloth, but I feel like it's the softest. Um, I'm wanting to clean a lot of different areas, but super quickly. And the best way I know how to do that is with these because all you need is water. Um, I've been using these for a long time, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it wet. Then I can wipe down my granite countertop, my wood table, my painted coffee table, all of that with just one rag. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So for some reason I haven't changed from church so I'm going to here in a second so I thought I'd do an outfit of the day so if you guys have questions. My sister actually got me this necklace so I have no idea where it's from but I love it because it can dress up anything even just a white plain sweatshirt. This is from Target but I'm sure you could find it from Walmart or anywhere. The reason I liked this one is because it's extra long so when I have leggings on I can cover my hiney but these are just my Spanx jeggings that I love. My shoes are just from TJ Maxx, but when you put it all together, you look somewhat cute, but I'm totally comfortable. But like I said, I'll be taking this off here in a second. I just kind of got distracted, but now I need to head into my beauty room. I think it's a mess in there, so let's go pick that up. Okay, I'm gonna put my shoes up. I'm loving this little shoe organizer, rack, whatever you wanna call it. It's working out really, really well. Um, I'm still on the hunt for this. This is driving me insane. I want to have it fixed. I don't like rooms not completed. I think I'm just about to break down and buy something off Amazon because I cannot find anything else that works. But I need to speed clean this a little bit. This. That. All of this. Plus I need to get comfortable. So now I'm going to work on this room. Eyes in the sky. Gazing far. Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light Okay, so I went ahead and changed. I kept my sweatshirt on because it's still comfortable. I just put on my Zella leggings and then my house shoes. So now I feel much better. <laughs> okay, I wanna share a cleaning hack with you just in case you guys don't know. This is my shower and it was disgusting as of yesterday. I finally was like, Chase, you have to clean it. He put some stories on it because it was so bad. He even showed it. I watched Katie Satelli's video and she bought all Dollar Tree products to clean hers. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. She's had like over a million views on it because it's so good. But I bought this brush from Dollar Tree. She used like a sponge one, but now they have this like really coarse brush. So I bought this and then you put half Dawn, half vinegar in it and mix it up. And I also bought a squirt bottle and just sprayed it in here on all the areas and let it set for 20 minutes. And I kid you not, it cleaned up so well and so easy. Chase did use like the drill with the brush, but I don't think he needed those attachments. I have those linked to my Amazon store if you wanna know what I'm talking about. But if you have a really dirty shower, like I'm talking, we haven't cleaned it in months, and you don't wanna spend forever cleaning it, definitely use that hack. Check out her video. I was super, super, super impressed. Okay, now we're gonna head outside and let's go see how the lights are going. So this is really hard for me because Savannah has Christmas up, my outside's gonna have Christmas up, but my inside doesn't have Christmas up and all my stuff's down. So it's gonna be a hard week if not, ooh, it's bright, of not putting stuff up. Okay. Are you on the roof? 
so I'm gonna have to decide here if I'm gonna add a wreath or what maybe even um you know like garland or something green garland we'll do something there and then I typically always put a real not a real tree <laughs> a Christmas tree right here sometimes we plug it in sometimes we don't but I have to work on that I'll have like Christmas pillows uh, just love Christmas time it makes me so happy okay I thought I would go ahead and talk this out with you guys so if you have any suggestions, you can tell me before we decorate the house for Christmas. So I'm gonna kinda go through and show you what I'm thinking for the big items. So let me know down below in the comment section. Yay, nay, yes, no, here's what I'm thinking. Okay, so one year I put the tree here and I loved it. Now we didn't have our sectional at the time. So last year I put it right here, which I did like because I could see it from laying in bed right there. Um, but I'm thinking about this year, I'm gonna try it. So it's probably gonna either gonna go here or here. I'm thinking about moving just these two cushions, like this two seats, so we just have one long section on this wall. I really like it when it's the middle of these windows because the outside, all the lights are on. And then you can see my front tree right here. So this is our front window, as well as, I'm gonna move Pearl and put a big tree right here. So from the outside, both outside windows, you'll see trees. So I'm gonna have a tall tree right here. And then I'm thinking doing my other tree right here. So let me know what you guys think. I may have Chase move this here in a little bit just so we can all together see what it looks like with just this piece gone. So. And then the thing with, that gets me with that is last year, the tree I was gonna put in my beauty room, I had right here, but I really hate to mess with this. I'm really liking this. So typically in here, I don't do much. I think I will just get new pillows and maybe a fall, a fall, a Christmas blanket. I may just try to make it a little bit festive in here, but I don't do a ton because I need one room that's not really Christmas just to feel calm and safe. <laughs> so when I feel like there's too much going on, so I'll have all my pillows, Christmas pillows, decor, um, Christmas tree in here. Sometimes I put a Christmas tree out in here in one of these corners. So yeah, I've got to go through everything and kind of see what I have, but I like Christmas and I like it feeling very winter wonderland, very Christmassy in here, but I don't like it cluttered or overwhelming or everything's gonna come down. But this is what it's like before. And very soon you should see, you'll be able to see what it looks like afterwards. Did playing in the pond make you tired? Did it? Tiger was trying to tell me what he was doing, but it was too late. You were already in it. Mm -hmm. Are they up? They're up. So we'll take you guys out there tonight when it dark, when it darkens so we can see how they look and make sure they all work. Yeah, I glance, it's hard to tell in the light, but there's just one little section that was kind of out. So I just had to mess with the bulbs a little bit and it's on right now, but as the wind blows, those things will go off and I'll have to replace the them. bulbs. So he was up in our attic getting Christmas boxes down and he pulled this down. And I guess last year we bought two of these because <laughs> it was such a good deal and we had to have it. It's brand new in there, we haven't touched it. So. Which we're gonna probably buy a glass set. And not yeah. Know how much we'll use these plastic, but at least we can replace the plastic ones that we did get last year. Yeah, they're not terrible just because we, I mean, oh, obviously, we use, these, really. we use the glass more, obviously, because they're the ones dirty. I just use these for sandwiches at work. Yeah. But besides that, I don't use these guys. Maybe we need to pull the, all the ones we're out, we're not using, and double up on all the stuff True. that you are. But we did find that, so that's a nice little find. FYI, I always get these from Walmart. These are like the best blueberry muffins ever. If you get the hunker ones, like the really big ones, they're not as good. You have to get the mini. But these are super, super good. Now we have to figure out what we're doing for dinner because it is already almost five o'clock and we have no idea. Okay, it's been decided. Of course, Bob Evans. I wanna see how the Sam's are, but we bought these first, so I don't want these to go bad. And I'm gonna go ahead and make both of them up so Chase has it for lunches throughout the week because um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do like a hamburger, but I'm not gonna make a hamburger. What do they call that, like a hamburger steak? Basically, yeah. I'm just gonna eat this as the steak. So I'll eat this and do mashed potatoes, Bob Evans, mm -hmm. and then green beans, and then we have frozen pork chops. He's gonna go ahead while he's grilling and get those grilled up 
with the mashed potatoes and green beans. I'll just make extra green beans too so he can go ahead and just like pre-cook his lunches so they're already in there. So he's gonna grill. Oh, this is what we get. Um, it's from Sam's if you guys haven't been around for a while. They're super, super good. How many come in here? 18. I wanna say it was like what, around 12 or $15? I think it's more like 12. I was surprised how cheap it was. Yeah. And what's nice is they're frozen, so you don't have to like, you can just have it when you need it. Like tonight, we didn't know what we were gonna fix. They're frozen, we have it in there. And then I love to keep these on hand. And then I'm gonna do my favorite green bean recipe that you guys know. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to cooking. Okay, real fast from um, Halloween. It's like super crammed down here. Normally this stuff's in the bottom drawer. So we bought a ton of these. Well, it was a huge box. It came with 55 bags of these tricks, uh, chips for our trick-or-treaters. But because it was super, super cold here, like nobody showed up. So we have all these Cheetos. <laughs> so, so it's taking up my drawer. Did you see this yet? I organized yeah, it. I saw that. I've I had one or two. I'm surprised the girls aren't eating them more, but then it made my bread and chips and other stuff go up here. So we've got our hands full, but I'm looking for green beans. Green beans? Green beans. Okay, so this is what my dinner looks like, and then Chase made his into an actual burger, so he has a little hodgepodge dinner. And then Savannah is gonna have green beans and the pork chops when they're done, but they're bigger, so they're not ready yet. Okay, so these are gonna be the meals we put up for Chase to take to lunch this week, and then I still have leftover mashed potatoes, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put them in this container so I can heat them up throughout the week with something else. And then I have dishes to do, and then I'll wipe down all the cabinets in here. So I'm gonna do a little speed clean and then we're gonna head outside to see the lights. Okay, so the kitchen and living room are all picked up. Um, tonight is Shark Tank. I love Shark Tank, so we'll be watching that later. Are we ready to see the lights? Yes. We're gonna do it now. Let's go. I think it's dark enough. It's pretty dark here. The camera's gonna throw it because it's made to like make things lighter. So I hope you guys can see it, but it's dark here for us. So let's head outside and see how they look. Now remember, I'll have trees in the window that you won't be seeing yet. And I'll add trees and garland outside, but we're not adding any of that yet. This was just to get the lights on the house. So when it's super cold or if it's icy or snowy, you're not getting up there. Exactly. But, it, we did it about three weeks earlier than uh, we'll turn them on, but we right. usually do it just because yeah. the weather's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's head outside. Okay, we're gonna show you it's way darker in real life if my camera like makes it look brighter, but let's go ahead and... Okay, you can do it, Chase. there they are so some of them aren't dangling down real long because they're brand new and it'll take a few nights for them to like drop with the heat it looks really good so picture this there'll be a tree in this window there'll be a tree in this window or I'll put my other tree out 
because um, I have a tree for the outside. But if I can put my, I think it would look good to have our um, main Christmas tree right there in that center window, window, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. I really like it. I like it with the White House. There's a spot over here I'm going to chip. Okay. So, you guys let me know down below in the description box or below in the comment section. Do you like it? And we'll add more. I'll show you once we put everything out. But right now, our main focus was these. I'll probably try to get battery lights. So, because like these can't plug in. But I'll probably... I can't even talk right now. I'm so cold. <laughs> I'm going to try to get battery lights for these little trees. So, there'll be like a tree here, a tree there, and then two trees. I think that's going to look so good. I think we need to wrap the lamppost. Oh, yeah. Let's wrap the lamppost. Let's go this way. Chase actually took them all the way down so the way you drive in is from like this way and so we have never sorry we have all the dogs going crazy we've never lined to the entire side and we did so yeah that looks so good good job chase okay now real quickly we're gonna move this off just to get an idea of what this would look like without it so if i want to put my tree there so we're gonna work on that because you can't stop it from shining through Okay, this isn't the best lighting. It always makes the colors look weird in here, but what do you think? Just to have like, I know this looks a little off. I wasn't expecting that, but I can hide this with the blanket and you're gonna have to remember like a huge tree is gonna be right here blocking that. So you're not really gonna see that much. And then what you do, I can arrange the throw over it. But then from this way, I could have our huge tree right there. Chase, thoughts? Yeah, I yeah. think it look. Yeah, I think it would look good. We might not be able to line it up right in the middle. It um, might be too close to the couch still. What do you think? I don't know. It might have to go over to the left window a little bit. So you guys, let me know because the day after you guys see this, we're gonna be decorating. So next week we will have our Christmas decorate with me. So don't miss it. And then the week after that, it'll probably be like cleaning for Thanksgiving or something like that, or preparing, cooking, some type of bomb life. Bomb life. And then December 1st is going to be my Christmas home tour. And it's a collab with somebody I love. So definitely make sure you're subscribed if you want to see how this turns out. Because <laughs> I have no idea right now. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you got some type of cleaning motivation or Christmas motivation. Definitely make sure you're subscribed to both channels and you can click here for my most recent video. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Make sure you're subscribed because we have awesome, awesome videos coming your way and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.